Welcome, today we're going to be taking a look at how we can use the card layout so we can actually switch between multiple screens inside a Java GUI app. So what we're going to be working with is a bunch of different J panels. Now I'm just working with some really sample basic code right here, but we'll work on more complex applications as well. So what we have right here is when I have my three J panel subclasses right here in Eclipse, and so I have my shape panel extends J panel, and the only thing I'm doing inside the constructor right here is just saying, hey, the color is going to be green. On color panel, oh, the color is going to be blue. Same basic approach, all it's doing is making a blue screen, just so we can, oh, easily see that we have these two different screens and what's going on with them. And then finally, canvas panel, oh, it has some information inside it and there's no detail about the color, so this one's going to show up as just as a lovely gray screen. So we've got that lovely information. We can easily see that we're working with different pieces of information inside this. So I'm going to go over here in my art frame class. And so I have right here inside my art frame, I have an import right here for java.awt.cardlayout because cardlayout is the tool we're going to be using to allow that to happen. And so cardlayout is going to make that happen. And what we need to do is inside our um, lovely thing. We also make a data member right here. I'm going to call this the uh, private J panel card panel. This is the panel that's going to be used to actually hold all the different screens we're working with. And we have my art panel, my shape panel, my color panel, the ones that we're working with inside that. And I'm going to go take a look at my constructor. In my constructor, I create all of my different uh, panels I'm working with. So this dot panel is a new art panel, passing it this dot app. This dot shapes is a new shape panel, passing it this dot app. And this dot color is a new color panel, passing it this dot app. Now, however, when I talk about the card panel, I'm not passing a reference to the thing. The card panel is just a container I'm holding with that. And so this dot card panel is a new J panel. That's okay. And I'm gonna pass it a new card layout. And a card layout works so I can put a whole bunch of different screens in front of each other. If I have a bunch of different screens, say I have a, a graph screen and I have a aggregate function screen talking about database land and I have a blank yellow screen and I have a database schema for the information I want to show on that and I want to make a panel for each of those different screens. What I do is I make each of those different screens right here. So I make the screens as objects, okay, panels. And then inside my um, method, I have to make sure I initialize them. I need to make sure I link them to the appropriate string value for that card layout. And so I do that over here inside my setup frame classes where I do the work for that. And so I um, on here I have card panel .add and I pass it the panel I'm going to work with and then a string value. This is the constant I've defined up here. You can also just do a hard coded string. Either one is like this. I want to try using a constant for this to give a little practice using constants as well for that. And so I'm passing an art screen, color screen, and shape screen so I can use that information to go through that. And so I assign those panels to the actual screen and then inside my change screen method I have a um, lovely little bit of code right here so I'm going to grab the card panel and ask it for its layout. I cast that result as a card layout and then card layout has a method in there it says show and what it does is it puts the appropriate pre-built panel on the screen. So it says, oh, on card panel, show this appropriate screen. So I'm going to tell the appropriate screen to show up on there based on that supplied parameter. And I just put that inside here. When I do that, I have that linked right here inside that um, lovely listener for my um, J menu right there, where I have my art screen add action listener. I tell select to call the change screen and pass it the art screen, shape screen, or color screen based on which thing I'm working with. And so I can use that lovely change screen method right here and it'll load the appropriate screen by grabbing the panel, uh, casting it as a card layout so I can appropriately use that information and use that to show the appropriate screen on that. So we'll go ahead and run this application right here so we can see what's going to happen. I pull up the application right here and on my screens menu, when I click on art screen, it takes me to the blank boring screen by default. When I go to the coloring screen, I get the blue screen. And when I go to modern generated art, I get the bright green screen because that's what's specified over here in that shape panel. So we can see what's going to happen with that. And so what it's doing is I'm grabbing the appropriate panel using that string parameter and displaying that information on the screen because I already have a pre-initialized value. And this is a great way you can display some really complex applications. Say for example, you want to do a composite application as a um, capstone project to show all the cool work you've done. You can load each of your different panels inside there and load them up and then using a menu like this, you could display every single project you've made all year long. So you can do some really cool stuff. Hope this is helpful. Cheers, have a great day, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.